The UN Security Council has threatened to impose sanctions against those wanting to ruin Libya's presidential and parliamentary elections that is scheduled for December 24, 2021. The Council also called on all Libyan stakeholders to respect the results of the vote and to work together in the spirit of unity and compromise of afterward for a peaceful transfer of power. In addition, council members issued a united call for countries to respect the arms embargo imposed against Libya and for all foreign fighters and mercenaries to leave the country immediately. Instability, fighting and foreign interference have proliferated in Libya since the ouster and killing of long-time dictator Muammar Gaddafi in 2011. Libya will hold elections 70 years today uh, since independence was declared in 1951. Extremists group Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for an explosion outside a school in Somalia's capital Mogadishu on Thursday, killing at least eight people, including school children. Witnesses say the blast sent a cloud of smoke above a busy part on Mogadishu during the morning rush hour. The blasts covered part of the school with emergency workers looking through the collapsed roof beams and wooden benches for victims. The AP reports eight people were killed and 17 others wounded, citing police spokesman Abdi Fatah Adam Hassan. Now, Al-Shabaab, in a statement carried out by its Andalus radio, said it targeted Western officials being escorted by the African Union peacekeeping convoy. The attack has come at a time where Somalia is faced with major questions about its political and security future. Foreign news now. A young girl was among 27 people who drowned in cold waters off the coast of France on Wednesday after an inflatable boat carrying migrants bound for Britain capsized in one of the deadliest incidents in the English Channel in recent years. A French Interior Minister uh, Gerald Darmain uh, said five women were among the dead. Uh, two people had been rescued, uh, what is still missing. An initial toll said uh, 32, 31 people had died, but the minister revised this number down to 27 late Wednesday. Four suspected traffickers accused of being directly linked to the doomed crossing had been arrested. Now, the International Organization for Migration's Missing Migrants Project said the tragedy was the largest loss of life in the channel since they began collecting data in 2014. The narrow waterway between Britain and France is one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world. Refugees and migrants fleeing conflict, persecution and poverty risk the dangerous crossing, hoping to claim asylum or economic opportunities in Britain. A group of around 200 migrants tried to break through the fence on the Pol Polish-Belarus border on Wednesday evening, uh, the border guard said on Thursday, as tensions simmer in a crisis region, powers have warned could spill into a wider conflict. The incident near the village of uh, Zeremcha uh, was one of the daily confrontations between groups of migrants under the supervision of Belarusian soldiers and Polish forces, which the European Union says is part of a hybrid, hybrid war and Minsk designed to destabilize the bloc and head back against sanctions. Uh, Michalska uh, said the migrants had flattened a section of the fence with logs in their bed to get cross. Now, she said five migrants had been sent to hospital suffering from exhaustion.